How you doing, everybody? Today, we're going to take a look at Black Mass, directed by Scott Cooper and starring Johnny Depp as notorious gangster James Whitey Bulger. The movie chronicles the life of Mr. Bulger, or at least a very good chunk of it, and is mainly told in flashback form through testimony from his various associates. At some point, he's contacted by FBI agent John Connolly, played here by Joel Edgerton, who is actually a former childhood friend of Bulger's, and he convinces him to work with the FBI as an informant, with the goal being to take down the Italian mob. And while this plan is largely successful, Bulger uses this opportunity to build up his own criminal empire, and the feds really just end up trading one monster for another. And it may not have been such a good trade. This was a pretty interesting story, and a downright scary story at times. Even more so because it's based on true events. A lot of this shit actually happened. We see Bulger gradually building up his criminal empire in Boston, and thanks to Agent Connolly, the FBI basically allowing it to happen. We see the various people who were murdered by Bulger, if not directly by him, then by his associates and his time helping the IRA and all this other stuff he went through, and you can see why he was at one time number two on the FBI's most wanted list. Like, here was Osama bin Laden, and here was Whitey Bulger. Yeah. The story is told pretty well overall. Scott Cooper's direction I thought was excellent, but really, this movie comes down to the actors. Johnny Depp absolutely kills it in this movie, in more ways than one. This guy is brown trousers scary. Holy shit. This guy knows about 50 different ways to kill a man, and he probably used damn near all of them in this movie. Sometimes he'll be very discreet about it, lure someone into a very quiet, secluded location just before he strangles him to death. Other times he'll just mow your ass down in broad daylight. And Depp definitely goes through a lot of makeup in this movie, which was sometimes a little too obvious. For most of the shots it was fine, but there were a couple of close-ups where you could tell his face just did not look quite right. Joel Edgerton does a really good job as Agent Connolly. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch plays Billy Bulger, Whitey's brother. And boy, is it weird seeing Benedict Cumberbatch doing a Boston accent. But you know what? He makes it work. Although, one thing I noticed, at the very end of the movie, when they're going through the credits, they will show the actor's name next to a picture or some video surveillance footage of the real-life person they're supposed to be portraying in this movie. And... From all of that, you can see, you know, Johnny Depp, they did a really good job making him look like Whitey Bulger. Edgerton looks a lot like John Connolly. Cumberbatch looks nothing like Billy Bulger at all. It's not even close. Uh, I mean, really, I guess it doesn't matter that much. I just thought that was interesting. Kevin Bacon has a small part in this movie. Always good to see him. And I guess that means many more people now have a Bacon number of zero. Really, my only major complaint with this movie is not so much what it did, but what it didn't do. Because there are a lot of interesting aspects of Bulger's life that are either not mentioned at all in the movie or are just kind of glossed over. Like, they don't cover his time in Alcatraz. Well, they mention he spent time in Alcatraz, but there's, I don't think, any mention of the time he spent there being experimented on by the government using LSD. Really, that happened. Look it up. And also at the very end of the movie, if you know the story of Whitey Bulger, of course, at some point the feds finally did come down on him and destroyed his criminal empire, and he fled the city of Boston and went into hiding for many years. And I think it was about 16 years or so before they finally captured him. And that whole time he spent in hiding is just kind of glossed over. At the very end of the movie, they show him leaving Boston for the last time, and then they go through the various characters doing kind of a where are they now bit. And then after all of that, when you think the movie is over, and this even confused a few people in the theater because I saw some of them standing up and I'm thinking, wait a minute, I think they're missing something here. And then sure enough, right at the very end, they say, oh, by the way, in 2011, he was finally captured. Like, surely there was more story to tell there. Uh, now, on the other hand, while it would have been nice to see all this stuff in the movie, if they did cover every important thing that you could possibly know about Whitey Bulger's life, this movie would be six hours long for sure. So, something had to get cut. So, final verdict? 
I would say this is at the very least worth a matinee, especially if you like true crime stories, I think this will be up your alley. And if nothing else, this movie will give you a whole new appreciation for the fact that Whitey Bulger will spend the rest of his days behind bars. And that's all I have to say about Black Mass, so until next time, take care.